Hi, Farmer Maggie here. Today I'm gonna show you how to take your ramen up a notch. You're gonna learn how to make fancy ramen. These are the things that you're gonna need to make fancy ramen. And you can substitute out vegetables that you like or add in whatever you have in your fridge. So the first thing you'll need is some ramen packets, some oil for cooking, corn from a can. I'm gonna use a few green onions, bok choy, and you can use any kind of green that you have at home like cabbage or kale or spinach, some oyster mushrooms, some shiitake mushrooms, and for those who like it hot, some red pepper flakes. And if you want to add a hard boiled egg, that's a great idea. I think it's super tasty. So first I drained the water out of my corn, and now what I'm gonna do is turn on my burner and pour some of my corn in here, about half a can. I'm also gonna add some garlic, because I love garlic. And finally, I'm gonna add some oil to it to help the corn cook. This stuff is optional but if you want your corn to have a little bit of crispy brown on the outside, then I recommend cooking it in a pan first. So after a few minutes, your corn is gonna start to look a little bit brown like this. Then you can just take it off the heat and set it to the side because it's done cooking for now. In this pot, I have four cups of water. What I'm gonna do is turn on my burner and get it to start boiling by putting the lid on. All right, so now my water is boiling and I'm gonna add my cut up veggies into it, including my mushrooms, green onions, and bok choy. Right. I'm gonna cover this back up again and let it boil again until all the veggies are soft. So now my veggies are all soft and steamy. So the next step is gonna be adding our ramen noodles. I'm gonna use two packets of ramen today. Make sure you add them carefully so you don't burn your hands when you're putting them in. And at this point, if it looks like there's not enough water in there, there's probably not. So feel free to add a little bit extra. All right, so it's been three minutes. My noodles are all cooked. I'm gonna take my lid off safely. Now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. So what we're gonna do is add the flavor packets. I'm using the soy sauce flavor. Also add in the cooked corn at this time and a little bit of red pepper flakes. delicious fancy ramen soup is ready to eat. Enjoy your fancy ramen and until next time, keep on growing.